Good afternoon, Keepers of the Cash. Gary B, the Casual Comic Guy here. And we are here with another Bargain Reads Bought Dirt Cheap. And today, we are featuring DC Comics 1988 series, The Weird. Uh, this I found in the Dollar Bins digging. And I got it when the Dollar Bins, uh, there was a sale going on. So I got each one of these issues. One. Two. Three, and then finally four for a quarter each. So I'm a buck in on this whole entire series. And this is what I'm talking about and why I do bargain reads bought dirt cheap because there are absolutely fantastic reads in those dollar bins. And when you see the creators that are in those dollar bins, it makes you wonder how they got there, right? So this character, the weird, is created by Jim Starlin and Bernie Wrightson. And this series just blew me away. I absolutely just piled right through it. It was great. Characterizations were awesome. I'm going to give each cover, I'm going to give the covers an A. Uh, just really good covers, really good interior art by Bernie Wrightson. I think the Justice League never looked better. The weird looked appropriately weird as he was dubbed by the Blue Beetle. And um, just a great little mini series. So the weird is this character from another dimension. And in this dimension, he's what you call a Zaralat, and then they also have uh, the Macrolats. The Macrolats rule that dimension, and this is a, a dimension of beings made of pure energy. And the Zaralats are subservient to them. The Macrolats are more like energy vampires, and all they do is feed off the Zaralats, and the Zaralats end up dead. But the Macrolats aren't content to be just in their dimension, and they want to start taking over other realms. Well, one of those next realms is Earth, and they have bridged, made a portal and a bridge to that dimension, and they have their own guy over there one, uh, who's betraying the human race, and they're giving him the power to bring them over so they can come over and take over our realm. And not content to his fate to just be consumed and uh, die is our guy, the Weird, who sneaks past and gets through this bridge and ends up once he's in our dimension, he has to become corporeal. To do that, he has to incorporate himself with a human form. And he jumps into a guy who's recently deceased, and there's issues with that. Although he becomes corporeal, it's interrupted by the Justice League, who don't know who this guy is, see him as a threat, and um, it doesn't. Uh, the process doesn't go as well as he hopes, and now he's an unstable on the molecular level. And he's basically like a living atom bomb. And there's a countdown and once on him, and he's got a mission. He's got to stop the Macrolats from coming over and taking our dimension. He's got to try to get the Justice League on his side to help him, even though all they see him as as a threat. And over this four issues, you see him absorbing the memories of the guy he he uh, embodied and took over the form of and he forms a bond with that guy's child and he's still partly that guy now because he absorbed his memories and partly himself so he's his own creation now great writing by Jim Starlin who just never seems to disappoint whenever he puts pen to paper on anything right just just amazing Bernie writes in the Justice League has never looked better they look fantastic in this but getting back to Jim Starlin a second, he nails the Justice League. You got Guy Gardner being the ass that Guy Gardner is. You got Batman being the leader and the detective and just doing the work that you want to see Batman do. You see him as this great leader of the Justice League. You see um, you see him uh, doing the detective work that's helping break down the case. And so they know how to help solve this problem. And the weird... His problems, and oh, and Superman. Superman's great in this too. You see a, the perfect depiction of Superman as written by Jim Starlin and presented by Bernie Wrightson. Just amazing. So if you're a fan of these two characters and the rest of the Justice League at all, you need to jump on it. You can get this uh, series in the dollar bands. Super cheap. I can't recommend it enough. But anyway, getting back to this. The Weird is unstable. 
And that's all the Justice League can focus on, right? This is a global threat. If this guy goes, the planet goes. So they're all after him. They need to get him someplace safe. They're going to take him out to space to let him explode and just not endanger the, the Earth. Uh, which is, of course, getting in the way of his mission to stop the Macrolats from coming over and taking over. Uh, the Macrolats do make it over. Um, some of them possess other people. Uh, Superman ends up being possessed at some point. A couple other uh, people. I don't want to really delve too much into it. I'm just giving you an overview. I want you to seek it out. Super cheap to buy. What a steal. Especially getting all four for a dollar. But again, the weird... A plus conclusion too, and uh, the Justice League. Like I said, the Justice League has been was a great team in this, and it's the Justice League in a way that you want to read the Justice League working together, working against each other. Some of them, the hotheads are the hotheads, um, the leaders are leaders, and the teamwork is great. The fails are great. And they just don't have a solution to the weird. Nothing they do, not even Superman, can affect this guy. And that brings up a whole bunch of cool problems. And plus, you end up liking the weird on a personal level. When you see his interactions with uh, this boy who just lost his father and now kind of has his father back a little bit. And he's teaching the boy lessons. He's letting the boy know how much his father truly loved him, even though his father had trouble saying it. And... It works on so many levels. There is a lot of story in this four issue miniseries. And if you're a DC fan at all, or just a fan of good storytelling, rather you're a fan of anything else, you owe it to yourself to pick this up in the dollar bins. It is not a hard series to find. You can even get it cheap on eBay. Seek it out, buy it, read it, love it, enjoy it. Two great creators, Jim Starlin, Bernie Wrightson. You can't go wrong. And this... Has been another Bargain Reads Bought Dirt Cheap. Until next time, keep it casual.